Qualcomm and AMD, these are two stocks we're going to take a closer look at today. They both have recent announcements, and I do want to say the AI buzzword is becoming too much, in my opinion, even for big players like this. Let me explain a little bit more in today's episode. So if we take a closer look, we can see Qualcomm right now year to date is up roughly 14.8%. And if we take a closer look at AMD, it's up roughly 44% year to date. I'm a shareholder of both. I do believe Qualcomm is looking very interesting right now, especially compared to some of the other players that have run up a nice amount. So let's start off with the Qualcomm news. So if you kind of go and just put Qualcomm on Google, you'll see the following articles. Qualcomm, Nvidia spar for the top spot in AI chip efficiency test. And that's what I was mentioning. I feel like right now this AI buzzword is becoming so big that anything as small as a quick ML performance benchmark is leading publishers to kind of release all these articles that make it seem like one nvidia is losing to other players and two that certain players might be a big big play in the ai market and while they do have some great solutions we're going to take a closer look it's not as big as something that would give me a reason to invest in certain semiconductor companies so this chip that Qualcomm has is the Cloud AI 100, and it's de designed for AI inference acceleration. And there is a third-party benchmark. I talked about it in my last episode, I believe, where NVIDIA was the top leader in forms of performance there. But there are other things like power efficiency. And if we take a closer look at a report today from Qualcomm, Qualcomm Cloud AI 100 continues to lead in power efficiency with the latest ML Performance version 3.0 results. And if we take a closer look here in this power efficiency leadership in the data center, the Qualcomm Cloud AI 100 performs roughly 34% over the nearest competition when we're taking a closer look at curies per second per wattage so overall it's more just a power efficiency um ratio right and they kind of show different solutions and how much they beat over the nearest competitors and our competition so this is pretty exciting right this is definitely pretty exciting and it's kind of showcasing how there's definitely different semiconductor companies that produce different solutions for AI acceleration. Before we go any further, I wanna thank you for watching and I need your help to reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Also, if you want some fantastic insight into the semiconductor industry, join my other channel, Semiconductor Investing and More, where I use my electrical engineering background to break down the semiconductor market. Finally, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for their subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. If we take a closer look, this is the Qualcomm Cloud AI 100. It comes in various modes. You can get them in a PCI Express slot or a dual M2 slot as well. And they have different kind of power configurations. So while these accelerators are pretty cool and it definitely gave Qualcomm some press, I do want to say the AI 100 is not a product that is going to drive Qualcomm's top or, or revenue numbers up. But it does show the versatility that Qualcomm has compared to some other players. I don't think many people would have thought that Qualcomm would have made it in the top of the power energy efficiency in some of these AI benchmarks. So while I do believe there's numerous reasons to be bullish in Qualcomm, this AI 100 accelerator is not one that would be on top of my list. Now, taking a closer look at another accelerator, we are going to look at AMD. And AMD launched their first 5 nanometer base media accelerator car to power the new era of interactive media services at scale. This new card is the Avail MA350. So the company even tells us, hey, what are these accelerators good for? So these accelerators are good for content where you need low latency. And we can see low latency things like live streaming, where you need live broadcasting and live shopping, where you need less than five seconds of latency or even lower, right? There might be even other solutions like live auctions or online betting where you need something as low as 16 milliseconds of latency or even ultra low latency when you're doing things like video collaboration 
or cloud gaming. So they're mentioning, mentioning that the Avell MA350 is something that can help out with these solutions. These accelerator cars are pretty much like any other accelerator cars. You normally see a few of them packaged into one server rack. And here's another pretty cool slide where they mention where right now, on-demand streaming and live broadcasting, which you don't mind if you have some form of latency behind it, that can be run behind a server CPU. But if you want something with very low latency, like we mentioned, things for microtransaction revenue, like live sports betting, interactive media, cloud gaming, and live e-commerce, you're gonna want to pick up, hey, an Avail MA350 and an AMD Epic. They also showed this pretty cool slide that roughly 70% of the global video market share right now is live video in 2021 versus 30% is on-demand video. I wouldn't be shocked if in 2022, um, the live video is still a major, major market leader here. And I think AMD has done a really great job at acquisitions. The reason this accelerator has come to fruition is thanks to their Silence acquisition. And we can see the embedded market is one of AMD's biggest market. It's roughly a quarter of the company's total revenue, maybe a little bit more. And if I, I don't have it here, but the embedded market is also one of their highest margin market as well so right now i believe the embedded revenue is still going to continue to be a major head uh, tailwind for amd very similar to qualcomm right the this product is not a reason to buy a loan but i do believe amd's embedded market as a whole is definitely definitely a very very important tailwind for the company's future uh, future growth so those are the two companies I wanted to take a closer look at. We're seeing how AI is definitely becoming a key word. And sometimes, it, depending on the market, we can see for Qualcomm, right now it might not be something that would really affect the stock price, but it is good press. And it just reminds me, hey, Jose, take a closer look at Qualcomm because they are definitely very diversified in, or, or versatile in the types of solutions they provide to their customers. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.